Everyone remembers their first car and their first parking ticket. At least I do. I got them both on the same day. If you drive in Edmonton, you know that mixture of pleasure and pain. That yes. snappy feeling when you fluke into a parking space. And the nasty one when you get tagged. Of course, back in turn of the century, Edmonton, there was no such thing as a parking meter or a parking stall. Because there were no cars to park. Duh. A few years later, if you wanted to hop out of your jalopy and snag yourself a sarsaparilla, well, parking was free and easy. By the late 1920s, parking on Jasper Ave was still free. But it wasn't easy. People parked wherever they wanted, for as long as they liked. Good luck finding a spot. In 1948, there were over 100,000 people living in Edmonton. And on July 26th of that year, the good people of this city woke up to our first parking meters. Imagine our pleasure. Back then, a penny bought you 12 minutes. A nickel got you an hour. And if your car outstayed its welcome, well, that ticket set you back a buck. Fun fact. A few days after they were installed, Edmonton became the first Canadian city to report the theft of a parking meter. Good work. Fast forward 30 years. By 1978, our population had quadrupled to just under half a million people. And if you think the number of cars on the road didn't grow too well, I have a high-level bridge to sell you. The 70s also brought us a downtown construction boom giving city planners all kinds of parking headaches. More buildings, more people, more people, more cars, more cars, less available parking. You do the math. By 2016, Edmonton was Canada's fifth largest municipality, with more than 1.3 million living in the metropolitan area. And that was the year we finally solved all our parking issues. Just kidding. Although in 2016, the city did bid a fond farewell to its coin-operated meters and replace those antique change guzzlers with a newfangled e-park system, letting drivers pay for parking with credit cards, smartphones, or coins. Change is inevitable. And it's happening right here in our city. Don't take my word for it. Go to Rogers Place and Ice District. Take a stroll down 104th Street and check out some of the spiffy businesses that are a big part of that change. And you know what they say about change? There's more where that came from. You're welcome. For over 70 years, our city has changed the way we park and the way we move. We've added bike lanes, new LRT routes, and Edmonton even has its own car sharing service. So what does the future hold for our city? We've already got electric cars and we're working on automated vehicles and enforcement. Then what? Matter transporters, anti-gravity pickup trucks. <sighs> if we want to remain a big league city, we'll need to keep making big league advancements. But whatever lies ahead, one thing's for sure. You'll always need a place to park your ride. Park well, my friends.